Hello everybody, I'm Invisible Thief and welcome to episode 6 on my Let's Play on Terraria Journey's End. In the last episode, I ended up finding out this, finding out about this odd new event, which can make nighttime, nighttime enemies, specifically zombies, spawn during the day, along with a new maggot zombie and a ghost, which is, I've only found one ghost, and there's also ravens. And I also ended up fighting the King Slime and got this very nice looking trophy here, King Slime Relic, which looks very nice, very nice indeed, which means that I'm going to have to make a trophy room or something to show off all of my, my fancy new stuff. Anyway, in this episode, I'm going to be exploring the underground desert because the guide said something about there being a... A, a golfer in there, or rather, saying that a guy, that a professional golfer wouldn't be caught there, which means that chances are that one will be. And I will also be trying to, or if I have time, I'll head over to the uh, the snow biome and try and explore down there. Though so that will be a little bit more dangerous because it's right in the middle of the of the corruption. So, I also didn't check out the dirt bombs in the last episode, something which I plan on plan on uh, trying out while in the underground desert, just because I have no idea how they'll actually work, and I really want to see, see how it works. So, I'm going to head over there right now. Alright, I'm at the entrance to the desert temple, place which gave me... Terrible loot, which isn't really nice of it. I they gave me this this vanity set, which I'm going, which I'm wearing right now, because I want to have some use of that. So I'm hoping to find a golfer here, which sounds sounds very odd. Anyway, dirt bomb. Let me see if it works. And dirt. Oh, apparently it doesn't destroy any blocks. It just I suppose it, it does its name. It explodes into dirt. Anyway, these do these desert fossils are bl are bl are breaking a bit odd. Like some of them are breaking even if I'm not hitting them, which is very very odd actually. Like it's breaking ones that are next to the one that I'm actually hitting. Oh, I heard something be get hit, which might mean that there's a golfer. Okay, I need to stay away from those. Because those are not good. Anyway, these desert these desert fossils can be put into a solidifier. Oh, this this music is very different from what it was before. It's very odd. Anyway, the desert is not an easy place. Though I do have a full set of silver armor, which might allow me to survive. Though I'm not so sure. What's with this? What's with this this music? This music's this music's this music's crazy. Oh, that ain't that ant line swarmer is so small. Boots, Dune Rider boots. The wearer can run super fast and even on sand. Walk without rhythm and you won't attract worms. Oh, what? Speaking of worms, I do not like those worms. I do not like those worms. Don't like him. Don't like him. Maybe the that that walk without rhythm anyone track worms is probably a reference to something that I don't get. I I feel like it might be a reference to something called Dune, though I'm not actually that sure on it. So I'm just gonna say that it is because I'm not sure. But the antline swarmers, they're so small. They were a lot bigger last. Or a lot bigger before this update. So that's 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 actually kind of nice because they were like really really big. And that was it was not nice to have them that big. Not because they were I mean I suppose they were kind of hard. They were not very nice. So, oh there's a there's a tiny larva there which oh this is this is doing a lot of damage because they do not take very much knockback. Forgot about that. Antlines don't take that much knockback, which means that 
having something that will do damage if they walk into it is very useful. So these are kind of like the hives in the jungle biome. I suppose except, you know, in the in the desert and on the floor. So if you hit those, then you will not have a good time. Oh, I placed down a sandstone torch because I gathered one. So I don't know how much there is new here. And I know that there's been like an overhaul on Accent. An overhaul on the underground desert, or I suppose the desert in general. Oh, no, no, no. You know, I thought it would go the other direction. And not in the direction that that I was. I was wrong. So, that now I have to... Oh, no, this is still here. Now I have to walk... Now, now I have to walk all the way back. Luckily, now that I have, like, Hermes boots and... Well, whatever these Dune Rider boots... Actually... While I'm here by the guide, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a chat with the with them. See what Dune Rider boots make because they make me walk so fast on on sand and still allow me to walk fast on on uh, just normal. So it's like just better Hermes boots, which is really nice. I do like that. Anyway, guide, what can these be made into? Spectre boots. Oh. Rocket boots, Dune Rider boots, it's made into Spectre boots. Huh. Alright. So it's another alternative to... Another alternative to the... To the Hermes boots. There's Hermes boots, there's Flurry boots, there's... I feel like I'm forgetting some. There's Flurry, there's... I... Uh, mm. There's one from the snow biome, one from fishing. There's Hermes boots... And then, and now there's these. Now there's four options. Though these allow you to walk really fast on, on sand, which I do like. I do definitely like that. I didn't check what antline mandibles made. But there's a... It's actually a higher chance that it makes something different than other materials because of the, the changes made to the desert biome. So the one thing that I know is that there there's a lot changed to the desert biome. So I'm expecting expecting quite a bit of new stuff. And if there's not, then I'll be disappointed. But I suppose that's that's fine. Here we go. Let me not break that. Let me oh I hear I hear digging. Digging is the last thing you want to hear while going here. That's the thing that actually Ended up getting rid of all my, my, what was it, 13 gold? Because I thought it was the, I thought it was these tiny ones, but really that, that one really didn't do much. Or, well I mean it, it obviously contributed, but it wasn't the main thing that made me lose my gold. Because uh, one of the dune, dune, dune crawlers, whatever they're called, uh, did most of the damage. To me, aha, aha! You got hit by the cactus. It's not just me. It's these these tiny, tiny annoying things too. Oh, let me just let me just hit that. There we go. Oh, great! It it allowed more of these these tiny ones to escape. Okay, here we go. Luckily, okay. I hear I hear digging. I hear digging. Luckily, this my weapon pierces, which means that I'm able to do quite a bit of damage to a segmented enemy like like this one which, which actually would be quite good against the the eater of worlds which is a segmented boss oh there's a there's one of these ones oh no 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 and my charger okay i really need a lot more health because i only have 100 health and i can go up to 400 health in easy mode which would be a lot better than what I currently have. Because what I currently have is not, not very good. So, I just have to... Oh, desert fossil wall. Oh, very nice. I suppose that's, that's, that's a good thing. There's a lot more, a lot more decoration stuff. Which I, which I do like. I do like that there's more 
or decoration stuff and you can make stuff that you weren't able to make before like you weren't able to make the the gym stone before for you just had the gyms and that was it but now you can actually make it into the stone which you uh, would normally gather the gyms in which means that now you can get that block before you that was a block that you could only find by by digging in caves and you couldn't actually gather it up to build anything out of it but now you can so now you can make your own gym filled caves if you wanted to I don't think I'm gonna be making a gym filled cave but um, I might be able to find some other use for that. I don't know. Oh, is that a topaz? Okay, let, let me jump up and jump up and mine the topaz. Is the saturation going down? I... Hmm. That's, that's a bit odd. Why the saturation goes down at some some parts in the world. I It may not have gone down. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a, there's a sand slime. Have I encountered a sand slime? I, I must have, considering how many times I've ran over to the to the desert biome, trying to make sure that I get my gold back. Is that digging? Or is that just the music? I think it might just be the music. Anyway, I think I saw something down here. Or I'm just going crazy. Yeah, you can see the, the saturation changes. What's with that? What's What's the whole saturation change then? That's so odd. Oh, there's some more topazes up there. Very useful. Let me just quickly hop up here. No, that's not topaz. That's amber. Oh, you can just find amber. This music is. This music's great. It's it's new. It's it's a bit different. And you can you can find amber down here. For the only way to get amber was through like um. Desert fossils and and silt, I believe. But now you can just now you can just find it, which is very nice. So let me try and let me try and put that down there and lure them into it. Maybe if I can, I am doing quite a bit of damage just by doing that. But I can also just just actually just start smacking them with it, even if it's not the most effective. But it should get the job down, uh, though I'm getting impatient. Oh, I, that's what I get for being impatient. That's what I get. This is 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 what I get. And I died. Okay. Note to self, don't be impatient, because now I have a horde of tiny antline larvas waiting for me down there. And I have to walk all the way back there again. I am not having the best of luck with the... Uh, of the, of the, the, that place over there, the, the desert. Don't know why I forgot its name. Anyway, I can make a grave digger shovel, which can dig up soft tiles. I'm going to make that because it's new, and that means that I'm going to to, to want it. I haven't made a, I haven't made a, 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 not a shovel, a hammer yet, which allows me to actually break backgrounds. I suppose because I haven't been placing any backgrounds, which I probably should, should get to. Anyway, in the next episode, I'm not ending the episode, I'm just saying, in the next episode I am going to be ending, I am going to actually finish off the the house, unless if, I don't know, slimes start, start flying around on balloons again, which I, I don't know why, I feel like, because there, there can be parties, like you can say like, this NPC is throwing a party. Which, I, it may have happened. I didn't see it happen. But it, there's always a possibility that that is what happened. And that's why, that's why that ended up doing that. Right, let's see. Let me see this. Yeah, that can mine in a, in a bigger radius. Uh, with soft tiles. That can actually be quite useful. In some circumstances. I, I don't know why the background goes like that. Why is the background going like that? Oh, I am I'm in the area of that of the event, of the the foggy event thing. Why was that? But why was that just happening there, and not? Hmm. 
bit, bit odd. This is big room. Bit odd, but it, yeah, it's a bit odd that that event is going on down here. It's also odd how these, how the desert fossils get mined, because it's it's not like normal. Like you can be breaking one, and then ones around it would also will break, which is different. It's new, and I'm I'm not complaining. Ah, it's cacti. They're the worst. Total. Let me, let me be safe for breaking that. Oh, uh, you know what? You know what? Noticed I, I made a, I made that a mistake again. A mistake of, of just, of, of doing that. So now there's a whole lot of, a lot of the whole region. There we go. That should help slightly. It's a very slow region. I prefer it feels a bit faster. Hold on. If I just... Hiya! That didn't do nearly as much damage as I wanted to do, and there's a lot of angry antlines waiting for me. So let me just, let me just, let me just get rid of them. They don't, they don't need to be around here. They can, they can blow up. There we go. That's, that's the sound I like. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's tomb crawler. Is that what they're called? Tomb crawler. Hello? Yeah, Tomb Crawler. Don't like them. You know, don't like them. They're really not my favorite. Really, really out of the enemies. Not not my favorite. Out of the enemies. Hold on. Is there anything you can see? No. Slime's falling from the sky. Which I... I, I suppose is kind of good. Though... Though not really what I wanted because uh, it's it's a way of fighting the king slime if you defeat 100 slimes within the slime rain then the king slime will spawn which can be good if you want to fight the king slime although the king slime does have more drops and I do want the one of the those drops so I suppose it's not all bad let me, let me drop off a few more bombs down here ah Tiny, tiny antlion, don't put me near the bombs. Oh, there's a house there. There's a house there, and I blew a hole in the roof. What is that? I saw something jumping over there. Pro probably just an antlion. Yeah, an antlion charger. But yeah, there's a house there, which means I can get loot. There might be new loot. Because uh, I found the magic conch in one, which means that there is new loot. So, slime rain. Real nice. Slimes fall from the sky. Which can be... Can be good because they can drop a whole bunch of stuff. If I zoom out for a little bit, you can see slimes dropping down from the sky to the ground because that's that's just an event. That's an event that can happen. That's the an event that the game decided to have. Ah, get slime. Die. Da da die. I I don't feel like killing a lot of slimes right now. Hold on, is there a is there a slime rain music? I think there might be a slime rain music. There wasn't a slime rain music before. I think. I don't think there was. But I I might not have paid enough attention. I might just have this dirt bomb. My inventory. I shouldn't throw it in the passageway behind me because then I couldn't get back. Um you know, right there. Sure, just leave that there. Why is I don't know why this event is is here because it seems like it it should be a surface event and not a not an event that's that's underground because it makes zombies spawn and ghosts and maggot zombies and whatnot which don't seem like underground enemies just saying when i think of underground enemies i do not think of of maggot zombies or ghosts but I, it, I mean, I haven't seen anything actually spawn. Oh, that antline, that oh, they've they can jump up there. Oh, oh, okay, can jump up there. Hmm, not good, not good at all. I need to, cause I really haven't explored that much underground. Let me see if I can use scare bombs. 
and try and make a different tunnel. Though, how would going down the mine be that that faster? I don't know. I'm going to try and find out. Instead of going the normal way and probably saving time, I'm going to go go this way and probably die a few times. Though that's that's not really anything new because I've died plenty of times in the series, especially in the King Slime boss fight. And in the first episode. I died a lot in the first episode. Though I think the, sli the King Slime boss fight beat that record. I think the last episode beat that record because of the King Slime fight. Because I died so much in that episode and it was not, was not the best. Here we go. Now I'm back. Ignore those cacti. Oh, it's spawned in a crab. That pressure plate, which is on the minecart. Hold on, there's a pressure plate on the minecart track. That's, that's, that's different. And I got killed by the crab that spawned in from the pressure plate on the minecart track. Oh, okay. There's a good thing it didn't summon in a shark and a, and a wasp along with the crab, because that would not have been well. Not, not have been well. Not have been good. Because hornets can be very annoying. Very, very annoying. I don't think I'm prepared for the uh, for the next boss fight, the, king, the Eye of Cthulhu. Because I... I barely beat the King Slime. I'm going to need to prepare an arena. I'm going to need to... I don't know. Prepare an arena i'm gonna need to prepare better armor maybe even meteorite if i can get my hands on that uh i mean a meteorite would have to spawn first better accessories i need better accessories my accessories are terrible well i mean they're not bad but it would help if i had a a jump accessory besides the besides the one that i already have let me throw down a scare bomb that way way. There we go. Try and mine off in this direction and hope that my weapons are good enough to stop the enemies from coming. There we go. Let's mine my way this way. Ooh. This, this amber. I need to see what it crafts because I bet it crafts something new because of the, of the new stuff. It, it better craft something new because Otherwise, I will... I... I don't, I don't know. I'll complain. That's what I'll do. Oh, not the... Not the baby ones. Not the cactus. Oh, it all went wrong. But now I have now I've way in. Now I have way back to my place. Uh, this is... I I just want to get that house. I wanted to go to the, to the snow biome, but this is taking up all my time. And then there's still this event going on. What's, what is it? Why is it? I don't know what it does before, besides just spawning stuff. I didn't get any actual useful loot from that event yet. That new event with the, the fog and the lightning and the ghosts. All I got was a maggot, or a couple maggots, which I can just put in a, put in a terrarium for some reason. I don't, I don't want that. Don't want it. I want useful loot that I can use to protect myself, like a, a new weapon. New weapon? I'd love a new weapon. So far, all the weapons I've used have been the have been old weapons, I think. Have have I? I mean there's all, there's just been a few small tweaks to them. Like how this now spins and wow, I used that at exactly the wrong time to spawn in all of those small larvae. Which is never a good thing because they're very, very mean. Very mean. Hold on. Let me break that cactus. So then it's not a problem in the future because I know that they'll end up killing me if I do not get rid of it. So let me hop this way. And now I just have to throw one more scare bomb and take out this this antline swarmer, which I should be able to do. There we go. Now that the... Oh, dear. Oh, not... You. Okay, good. It went. It went in the opposite direction of where my player was. 
that's doesn't seem like what the enemy should do. I wonder if that does that if that um this foggy event increase spawn rate. Because that could explain why there's so many enemies. Oh, a new painting. Bandage boy and a seagull statue. Very nice. Oh, a snake charmer's flute summons rope snakes. Oh, okay. Let me see what it does. Dude. Oh, hold on. Rope snake. Oh. That's very useful. It just... It's just something that I can summon to get me a way up to places. That's so useful. And it doesn't, it doesn't like, do damage or anything. Probably. Probably doesn't do damage. What is this? Sandstone columns. Ooh, before there was just wooden columns. Now there's sandstone columns. That's a new thing. I like these, these new stuff. Uh, sadly, it doesn't do any damage. Which would have been would have been nice, but I suppose that since it's just a way of getting of just getting up places, it's quite good. It's quite good indeed. I didn't think it would be that, but since I have it, how high does it go? Does it have a limit, or will it just go up to space if I set it down on the ground? This place is getting way too dangerous because of all the enemies that carry that are carrying my gold. Anyway, let's see. Place it there. How how high will up? Oh, okay, here we go. Up I go. We how high? Okay. So it has a limit, but it's a pretty high limit. It's a pretty pretty good limit for have for having a limit. So I'm not I'm not complaining. That's a good item. I like that item. It means that I can get up to places without needing to use a rope, and without needing to to just make a rope pile somewhere, which doesn't look the best. I say having made rope piles everywhere. That's because I didn't have have this handy dandy alternative item. Oh, that lightning is is still not nice. Anyway, this. This it. I've been recording for longer than I than I thought I would have been, but I think I might be able to just about squeeze in a just about squeeze in a little bit more time to see if there's anything new in the underground snow biome, or just ha just have a quick look. It's just one just one little peek in the cave. Nearby at the snow biome. See if there's anything new. Because if there is something new, then that's quite good. And I have a, a mummy statue. Or not mim statue. I have a seagull statue. But I have a mummy. Um, brain doesn't want to work. But if that then. Painting. It's painting. Ah, slimes. Zombies. Ooh, it's so dark. It's so very dark. And it's only going to get darker when I enter this biome. Because this biome actually makes things darker. Ah! 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 They're right behind me. Okay, jump. Oh, that's probably going to kill me. That's definitely going to kill me. 408 damage. Hmm. Hmm, yes. That's a lot of damage. That's 408. That's... That would kill me even if I had full health. Which I don't. I only have... A small, small, measly amount of health compared to what health I would have. My th throat is not happy, which means that I'm going to have to wrap up this episode really fast. So instead of going to the... Okay. God, slimes. So instead of going to the... Oh. So, it's, it's, yeah. so instead of going to the snow biome, I'm going to enter this cave because I... It's, it's closer... And it's probably safer, and it means that I can still explore a bit without having to. The wand of sparking, my first magic weapon. It's very weak. It just makes a little spark, which will set enemies on fire, and that's that's pretty much its use because it really doesn't do that much damage. 
Ooh. This cave's actually going down quite some ways. Oh, there's multiple border traps there. There's a lot of traps surrounding this this uh, this chest here. Also, there's just a gold chest, just out, just here, and it's compl hold on, hold on. It's a trapped chest. I don't see a single pressure plate, and yet there's. Let me see here. Yeah. Yep. 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 Trap chest. That's a trap chest. So, if I just... I don't know. Block myself in. Explosives! There was explosives. I didn't see the explosives. I... Mm, explosives. I thought I was being clever. Because I got rid of the dart traps and blocked off the border traps. But I I didn't expect a bit. I didn't. What was that? Just just a rat going on across the floor. I didn't expect explosives. You you never expect explosives, especially since it's new. It's cool that there's that there's trap chests just out and about. There's a trap. It it was a trap. It was a trap. That that's actually kind kind of good. I mean, it wasn't good because I because I died. But it was it was nice that there was an actual actual low 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 trap there. That's that's new. Before the traps were a lot more. Well, now I know. Whenever I see a chest, four boulder traps. There were four boulder traps, and however many explosives. But I mean, it it was a valid valid chest. It had stuff that it had normal chest stuff. These these. Slimes are not doing very much damage to me. Let me just take them out, grab whatever loot may have dropped down here, and then continue on. That that's nice. Trap chest with loot. So you actually get something out of it, and it's, so it's not just a, a waste. Oh my. Okay, I'm getting close to the underground uh, corruption. Ooh, platinum. Platinum is always good. Uh, if I had platinum armor, that would be a lot better than my than my silver armor. But not as good as oh I hear a I hear a digger. I hear a digger. I hear a digger. Where is it? Oh it's just one. I thought it was a corruption digger. Okay, well on that note of death, which I don't know, most of my episodes I don't want to go back there and get the twenty four silver. So, now that I've done a little bit more exploring, found out a little bit more, this event is still going on for for some reason. Huh. Could probably do like like hello, like that as as intro, like hello, hello, visible thief, Traria. Uh, let's see. Ha ha ha. Anyway. Anyway, in the next episode, oh, I, I dropped gold down there. That's it's just one piece of gold. One one piece of gold's fine to lose. It's not that much. It's it's really not that much. Let's see. The next episode, I'm going to try and explore the underground jungle, which is more dangerous than the underground desert. Well. It, it should be if it's if it's like anything like how it was before so that's what I'm gonna do in episode but in the next episode but this is all I have time for in this episode so thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next episode three two one